Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, November 11, 2020. If you would like to join our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a Patriot uh, account or channel where we have a signal service and we also have the full technical analysis for commodities and other analysis. And at the moment, we are over 50 traders uh, active on Patreon and, and you're welcome to join there as well. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound, US dollar, and as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We have broken these previous highs and at this point, we are actually targeting these highs here. We also broke that. We're actually targeting these highs. So whether or not we can get to that area, that is a question because we are running, running out of time here. So we are at 68. We are almost our bot with, a U, uh, with this pair. And that is a, is a warning sign that we may basically turn around in tomorrow's session. Stochastic is basically turning around. We are at the edge of the Bollinger Band. The CCI is turning around. It's only the MACD that is not turning around. So this is basically screaming, basically pull back towards the 50 moving average. So there's a possible trade here for 2.35%. And that is quite a lot for, for currencies. Um, a lot of pips. There is around um, 293 pips here. So that's a, quite a nice trade. And it looks like we are basically turning around at this point. And as that's the case, there's no reason to basically go in and buy this because that is absolutely enormous risk that you're taking. So if you look at the US uh, yen, so this is a trade that I, I did today. And the reason why uh, I basically put in a sell position here is that uh, we are hitting the, the top of this range here. We are in a the channel and um, we we basically rally to the upside hit the uh, 100 moving average and the top of the channel and it's just a matter of time before we turn around the rsi has started to turn around and the bollinger band is basically also on the edge of the bollinger band so probably a little bit early but um, this is the right trade because we are going to go sideways a little bit and then we are going to go down it most likely will depend on the US dollar index um, in order to, to, uh, to break down significantly. So we may see something like this and then go down or we just go up and then basically collapse to the downside as we also can do. So it's unpredictable, but we are in this channel. As long as that is the case, that is very easy trade to make basically to sell here when we are at the top. No interest basically of buying uh, because we are most likely going down. So euro, US dollar, 0 0.25. We ran into major uh, resistance here at this top here yesterday. And then we basically collapsed towards the 50 moving average, which was expected. And at this point, I do believe that we are going lower. Technical indicators for this are looking dreadful. Uh, we are basically at the edge of the 20 moving average. You can see it here on the Bollinger Band. So we basically could go all the way to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And the stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around, same as the MACD. And that means that we could go to these very lows here at 1162. So no interest basically of buying this. This is a sell if we break the 50 moving average right here at 1176. So Aussie US dollar, this is also one of my trades today. I enter around here because we ran into, uh, I ran enter basically there because we ran into major resistance here. And this candlestick is basically screaming that mar market is going down. If you look at technical indicators, CCI is very negative. The same for stochastic Bollinger Band. We basically exploded to the top of the Bollinger Band yesterday. And now we're going towards the 20 moving average first. Um, we are almost overbought still. And we just need the MACD to turn around. So first target is the 20 moving average, 50 moving average, and then the 150 moving average, if that is technically possible at this point. Definitely a sell, not a buy. Then we have the US dollar cat. 
as we expected, we are rallying towards the 20 exponential moving average here at the 1315. We may go all the way down up to the 100 moving average before going lower. Uh, there's a lot of room to the upside. Technical units are turning around right at this point. And that means that we most likely will see something similar to if we go out here a little bit, we'll probably see something similar to this. We go up down and then up towards the 100 moving average here and then going down again so at this point we are actually making uh lower lows here 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 and then we'll probably make one uh, down here and then we get close back to this channel which will act as support and uh, no interest to basically at entering this at the moment could enter for a buy but we are in a downtrend and why buy when we're in a downtrend that can change at any point so the idea is to basically get it when it basically reaches a major resistance up here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. It will, you will get access to our signal service, our full technical analysis, and join a company of over 50 other traders. So welcome to join. Good luck and thank you very much.